too easy. I just, I just, I just wanna freak you with the lights on, baby. Lead them on. I don't want them off. Wanna see them. Okay, all you will need is some cell tape, um, a pair of scissors, or a knife, a sharp knife, and a bit of blue scrapbook paper that um that is kind of the same color as like the instagram border and then a plain white poster board and i just got these like at my local craft store like down my town so they are easy enough to get and um it all came to under 10 pounds okay so i just went into microsoft word and i just typed in my instagram name and I typed in a number of likes and how long ago that I would have uploaded the photo and um, I just put in random numbers but that is my real Instagram name in case anyone wants to go follow me and um, I just got a little speech bubble and then there's a little arrow that I couldn't make because I couldn't find a thingy for it, what do you call them? Symbol. A symbol for them. <laughs> Thank you. I couldn't get a symbol for them, so I just had to make one myself, like a little DIY on a symbol. <laughs> and I just made a little heart for if someone was to like it. And the reason I have my name on it twice is because at the top of your Instagram it has your name, and then with the bottom, just beside the comments, if you already have a comment, it would have your name as well. And I just put the my name and the likes in a bluey colour to match like the Instagram and as well with the symbols and then with the minutes, 54 minutes, I just put in grey because that's what colour Instagram uses but um, whenever you're doing this I had my Instagram opened right beside me and it was easy enough to just copy and I have it on Calibri, Calibri. <laughs> um, and and font size 100 and just that. You also need your Instagram like profile picture and I just cropped mine into like a circle shape and printed it out. You also need the Instagram uh, title and I just got that off Google Images and printed it out too. And this is what they were look, look like whenever they're printed and I'm really happy with how it turned out so far. So I've just folded over about five inches of the blue um, uh, scrapbook paper and I just folded it in half and cut it out and then stuck it onto the white poster board at the top and this will be where your Instagram like title is. I have just cut out all of the, the things that I printed and I just laid them down on the poster board to see where they would go before I actually do stick them down. As you've probably just seen, I just um, drew a square in the place where you're going to cut out like the centre part of the Instagram like Polaroid and I just drew this using a ruler and a pen. Um, you could also do it on the back if you didn't want to see like the black pen marks but it is quite quite a struggle and I had to get my mummy <laughs> to help me so thanks mummy. <laughs> um, but it's hard but as long as you keep going at it, it will get there eventually so don't be worrying. <laughs> I thought I was going to be finished now but I just had to like reinforce the poster board as it got a bit flimsy. I just used the rest of what I cut out from the centre of the Polaroid square and I just kind of stuck down, cut sections and stuck them down and it made it a lot more strong and it was far easier to carry and I'm really really happy with how it turned out and I'm glad that I did reinforce it. <laughs> I just went around and made sure that everything was stuck down properly as I didn't want anything to fall off while I was holding it up. So I just made sure everything was stuck down properly and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Let's have another toast to the girl almighty. Let's pray we see young steam made of lightning. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again soon. Bye guys! Okay, so I just went into Microsoft Word and I just made a document. Well, obviously I would have made a document! <laughs>
Okay, so I just went into Microsoft Word. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> I made a document. 